This is one of my favorite uh, paintings. Uh, it's a Congress of Birds. And initially, I had wanted to do um, an animal scene that was totally all animals and structure it in a way that uh, it would incorporate all the different things of birds. So it did, it took a while to do because I had to think up each placement of each bird, choose the proper color to contrast, then the proper positioning, opening of wings, the outstretched open wings, the bird in flight. So all that took quite a bit of time. Uh, the focal point would, the, the two lines of focal points would come from the background here to here to the central figure here. The uh, bird in the background of the mountains counterbalances the tree and then the depth of it is achieved by the background of the sky and the clouds. And I don't quite remember how long it took me. I did this somewhere around 1973. And I'm sure I put probably a good month, month and a half from start to completion. But uh, after I took it up to uh, the art shop and had it framed, it, it became one of our favorites, my, my wife and myself both. And that's the story on this one. Uh, this particular picture, uh, before I had painted it, I had read somewhere where uh, Leonardo da Vinci had stated that uh, the essence of a, a real good painting is in, it's all expressed by gesture alone. Uh, or at least the major component of it is gesture. So uh, I wanted to do a religious scene and I wanted to incorporate all the, the important aspects of Christianity, uh, such as humility, compassion, mercy, all the good traits that humans value that are reflective in Christianity. I wanted to incorporate that in one single painting. And so I had to uh, compose a uh, stance that would de de uh, denote all of that. So I had, and it would all be in the placement, the attitude of his head, the placement of his hands, and the stance of his feet and legs. And I purposely made the background recede, where it's not an important part of the painting other than just as a contrast element. So uh, once I decided on how to construct the figures, uh, then I made the color palette very muted because I think that was in keeping. I don't think it would have went well with bright colors. So uh, that in essence is how that picture was derived and how it arrived. Hopefully I was successful in achieving that. Uh, on this particular painting, which is of the Brahma bull, I had did a little studying of the Hindu religion in some of my readings, and I was totally impressed about how they revere this Brahma bull. Uh, they walk through the streets unimpeded. They can walk into anybody's house if they want to. They can eat anything they got. It's just simply amazing how they, they worship this animal. So. I wanted to paint a portrait of it in a very benign state. He's almost holy. So I put him in this particular pose. I uh, put a very uh, humanistic expression on his face. Like my daughter said, she said, you know, Dad, 
the thing is about a lot of your animals is that they somehow have a in a smile to them. I said, well, you know, darling, that's true. It, it's it's a very stylized type of, of painting, and you, I can incorporate that, and it makes them have human characteristics. So basically, that's the Brahma bull, and that's the story behind him. Uh, these are my new approaches to uh, figurative interpretations and uh, it uh, goes to the, my background at working out in the gym. This is uh, a gym jock and uh, as you can see uh, the vivid colors. It's a very fun thing. It uh, has an exciting explosive nature to it and it's somewhat uh, of x-ray qualities with some of the internal organs showing. Uh, I love the tennis shoes. Uh, I don't know, it just, it's very expressive and it, it has real meaning to me because I have spent a lot of hours in the gym. Um, I wanted to do something in black and white because it is such, it has a vivid contrast and use silver pen to uh, illustrate the different designs in it. And so in this particular one, it kind of has like an Inca motif, uh, like carved in stone that you see in uh, a lot of these documentaries. And uh, you can see certain traces of a double ram hall on each side in the central figure of the Mayan god here. And then the embellishments, it could be considered headdress or similar in nature. But I think as a, uh, when you put it all together, it, it really makes a striking presentation. And uh, I'm real pleased with it. Uh, this painting is in another uh, series of bright expressive colors and the uh, uh, theme behind this is somewhat like a totem pole but stretched out. If you notice, they're all figures of some type of uh, animal, like either a horse's head, uh, a ram, uh, but there is some way in there that the figures are representative of some type of a face. And uh, I used very, very bright colors and uh, just let the loops go <laughs> however I felt at the time and just let I have free reign on whatever I wanted to express. It all comes out in my hand height, shapes up and use the different colors and it came out to be a very expressive piece. My wife really likes it. Uh, some people might find it too vivid, but uh, that's personal taste. 